back. Um, I'm still salty about the whole... What does salty mean? Annoyed. Hmm. You know. I've, I've heard that use, word used to describe Pearl from Steven Universe, and I always got the sense that it meant... Uh... Hungry for love. Lesbian love. Well, not I don't know if it's necessarily lesbian love, but... Yeah, basically, wanting. Oh my god, are you serious? Come on, you're reaching it! Oh my god, it's just, is this possible? Yes. What the fuck? No, 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 not as it is now, but you can't... I mean, you need to be able to reach it, but you can't reach it right now. Oh, shut your mouth. Obviously, I was talking about, is it possible for me to jump there? It so looks like I am. Oh, I'm yeah. having issues with this game. What? Because its visuals aren't reinforcing its puzzle. Yeah, precisely. Well, I mean, if you can't reach it, then obviously you need something to stand on. That's not so bad. Whatever. You just think that it looks too much like you should be able to reach it. Yes. Or, or doesn't look like I need to, need to be able to reach it. Oh god, I should probably just check that out first. I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed with this game. There's nothing. Holy crap. There's nothing here. Everything is so high up. It's just disappointment. That's all I'm getting from this game. What are you talking about? You've had two... Well, two minor inconveniences so far. The only bits I've really found fun about this game, and it really... It disappoints me. You know, I'm kind of disappointing myself because I thought... I was kind of into puzzle games, you know, mm. fantasy, all that, and I am, but I don't know, I just, I don't like them being blended. Not in this sense, anyway. Well, it's like Shadow and, of the Colossus, And because there was, there was such a big hype about this game being like the first of the Team Eco mm. series, but... You don't think it compares to Shadow of the Colossus? Not at all, not in one bit, not, not in any way. It's. I think the only thing I like about this is its law significance, not the gameplay. I mean, I kind of like beating up those heartless dudes, but that's it. What about the um the way it builds up the relationship between Eco and Yoda? I, I don't see that. I don't see a relationship building. It's more out of necessity. It's not like they're getting to know each well, other. Well. The meaningful relationships can be born out of necessity. Oh, I think shit. I think some of the best ones are. Like <clears throat> um like Monkey and uh Tripitaka. Yeah yeah. Monkey and Trip. Oh fuck you. Fuck you guy. Okay. I, I mean it is kinda rough because it does seem like Tripitaka is being so mean to Monkey. What what the Okay, this camera, I'm going to kill it. Oh, that was close. I know. Can you believe that shit? It just wouldn't aim at her. Mm. It wouldn't tell me where she was. And there's a couch there, which is pretty damn handy. I mean, um, yeah, I guess. What do you mean you guess? I don't know. I've forgotten what I was talking. Oh yeah. Um, at first, you kind of really hate Trippy Taka because she's enslaving you, which is inherently bad. Are you talking about the game? Yeah. Right. Oh, I suppose uh, that whole. Necessity thing could apply to the original series too. It's all but, about... but the thing is, in that series, Monkey had to learn humility, whereas this Monkey is just. I don't know, he seems like a regular dude who can get angry sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, um, you kind of forgive Trippy Taka. Well, Trip. After you realise that she really needs you because she is shit and cannot defend herself because she's tiny. Although she she has got technical whiz, but she would have died without you, basically. I don't know if you saw that. He went au revoir, and then and then just like put his hand like that. He started <laughs> just walking. Sit down, girlfriend. No, more like ah, sit down with me. Come on, let's just let's just sit down, just talk. Well, I did mean like that. Like he was being sassy. No, he's being gay. Girlfriend. Be gay. Ah, oh, whatever. Be gay. He's so gay every day, eh? Every day. Oh what? Oh what? Oh what? Oh what? Okay, so. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I can only assume I have to go up here. 
Yeah, you go right up to the edge. That's, that's safe. That's safe. Yeah, you be careful. That's safe. Okay, I'm gonna just assume, even though it looks like there's a crack, I bet I can walk across here. Yeah. No! Yes! Hmm. Of course I can. See, if I hadn't played... Oh, can I reset? No, I can't. Oh, shit. Okay. Fall. 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 Okay, so I need to get out of here. I'm going to jump for joy for no reason. Hmm. Shit. Come on. Oh, come on. That come happens on. a lot. Yeah. Alright. No. Okay. Walk the plank. Step out. Step off the edge. And die. Okay, that didn't do nothing. Can I jump up here? Will it do anything? No! That kinda really sucks. Oh. Okay. Right. Up. Oh! Ah! At least you saved! Wow, just red. You're dead. Yep. And I play some really weird ambient music. Yeah. It's like, you are dead, you are dead. There will be no. Reminds me of Akira again. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a good look again. Um, what can I do? What can I do from there? Okay. Ugh. I had a weird dream the other day. Yeah? It was really weird. I forget what, what it was because I have so many weird dreams. I'll write them all down. If they're worth writing down. I might. I might. You know what? I, I said this a while ago that I was going to do a reading of a dream every episode. Mm. But I don't have that many dreams. I couldn't possibly do that. Um, you got any, had any weird dreams lately? Yeah, I wrote one down. Let me have a look. I used to write down all my weird dreams because I'd never remember the ones of the night, but when I'd wake up in the morning and doze back off again, I usually remembered those. Yeah, I think they're easiest to remember. Mm, let's see. Mmm. Turn this way. Nothing. Turn this way. Nothing. I will say one thing for this game, it does have a really cool camera, you can almost do a complete total 180 with the camera, and you can have a real good look at what you're doing. It's a shame I don't know what I'm doing though. Is there anything here? No. Hey, I've got two pretty good ones here. Okay, there's this one weird one where you were like Dr. Frankenstein. And you're in a room, huge room full of giant bunk, bunk beds, experimenting with electrical harnessing electrical power to prove an engineering theory. Because this is when you did engineering. Okay. Uh, but the police didn't know about it. Um, also, there was a big city where everyone drove giant ethereal whales instead of cars. And the second dream: someone put on a school play of Breaking Bad. And Heisenberg showed up to watch it, but couldn't contain his rage as they got everything wrong. He ran up to a tree hill to the TARDIS. Christian rented a dolphin, but it jumped out of a pool. And its pool was like a sectioned off section of a room, like with woods. So half the room was a little dolphin place. The dolphin swied out, swam out and dried up on the carpet and it shrunk. It, it was all shriveled. I tried to help it by throwing it back in. But mum said it was too late. It was suffering. We were at a fancy hotel and there was glass in the hallway. An old woman was mad at arrival. There was no jam to have on my pants. arrival? I don't know. I have no idea who the rival was. And also, there was no jam to have on my pancakes. The end. Do you have jam on your pancakes? Never! I've never had jam on my pancakes. Well, maybe this is a sign. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Yeah, dreams are weird, and a lot of the time we do... Uh, we do colorate with what's going on in your life. Over oh, the chain up there. That's the only thing I've got. There's a chain. I've died twice. 
Have you? Yeah, when I wasn't looking. Uh, well, one time when you did see, and then all of a sudden I like, I went up here and I dropped, and you just like, fell. Move the camera down a second. Right, yeah, I fell down there, and I actually saw where he fell, and he just went Hleh! like Link. All right, look up. Look no, up. Link, Link goes tight. Just <laughs> look up, look down, look up to the right. Down. All right, so there is a chain there, as you say. Can you reach that ledge? No. All right, you know that wooden plank sticking out. Yes. I could be wrong, but I seem to remember there being a chain hanging from that. There isn't. Alright. Is there a lever anywhere near the beginning? Near the beginning? Look to the... Well, it gives me a new perspective, you know, of death. <laughs> so that's nice. Alright, climb up and look back over towards where Yorda is. Oh, did you pull that lever? What lever? Remember the lever you couldn't reach? No. We'll do that. I don't even know where it is. It's at the very beginning. What do you mean? Of the game? No! Remember when you were like, Oh, Andrew, can I reach it? And it's like, yeah, but you need a box. It's like, Andrew, obviously I want to know if I can reach it now because the visuals don't reinforce the puzzle and we had a big conversation about it. I still don't know what you're talking about. The lever! After you came up on the elevator, there was a lever and you were trying to jump to reach it and it looked What's like... What's the lever? You piece of shit. There's not just You the piece of shit. Do you, where do you think we are? Mexico? Oh, we have to find the lever, don't you know? She can stay up here, it's fine. Ooh! Stressy, messy. That's a cool cinematic look, isn't it? I guess. Of death. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm just looking around. Alright. Well, that's what I meant. I meant, what are you doing? Alright, okay. Are you seriously telling me you didn't remember? No, I didn't remember. What's the big deal? I'm just very surprised that you didn't remember. You know, I did... As soon as I let her up, I was thinking... Is there something I should be doing with this box? Hmm... Okay. He didn't even use it properly. He holds it by the rod. What, is he gay? Is that just his natural instinct? Oh, great. That little bit of chain wasn't there before. This goddamn game. I can't believe I spent... <laughs> I can't believe I spent so much time designing a thumbnail from scratch for this game when I could have oh, been doing it for Metal Gear. Come on, it's not as bad as you're making it out to be. In fact, I'd argue it's very good. It's I have just... wasted my artistic talents. Uh... Although, having said that, there are a few issues with that thumbnail I don't like. Dude, would you like to know? You know what, I'm going to save again because I don't want to do that bullshit all over again. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Um... Mark Wait, the Metal Gear one or the Eco one? The Eco one. What don't you like about it? Well, okay, he's all high on the couch. Uh-huh. And you see all these, like, patterns all around him. Uh-huh. They're what he sees. But that doesn't really mean that we'd see it. Well, yeah, but I liked that, because it's kind of like a duality thing. There's Yorda, who's got normal shit, and him, who's got all the hallucinogenic shit. All right. So I'm probably going to be skipping a lot of that, so we're still going to- this is still the same episode. Alright. Is this the last part? Wait, what about all the cool conversation we had? Alright, I'll give it three more minutes. What do you mean? What? What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean, what do you mean? Like, what? I'll give it three more minutes. I'll give it three more minutes. Instead oh, of ending it here. Oh, okay, right, okay. I die! God, this guy, he thinks he's cool, but he's really not. He's just a <laughs> punk-ass kid. He doesn't think he's cool, he's just trying- He does, he's all like, uh, oh, once I say this, honey baby, I'm gonna put my dick in her. <laughs> and she gonna like it. He ain't thinking oh, that, he's thinking, on. hey, there's another kid who's lonely like me, and that was their bond. He's lonely, because, you know, he's oh. been cursed his whole life. I guess I have to go back again, because that's fun. Mm. Yeah, I actually remember this, it's quite- Because you're like, oh no! Oh no! 
Uh, except I'm not. Oh no! At this point, I don't care what happens to the order. Why not? Because I've got enough troubles. I think this is all just because you've had a break. What do you mean a break? No, 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 no. These are generally difficult well, puzzles. Well, difficult isn't bad necessarily, is it? Well, it's not just difficult. It's just I don't know. I I don't like how this game is directing me. Hmm. I don't. Did you say the camera more or less just... It's your fault. It's absolutely your fault. Are they even going to come after her? Here. Or are they just going to stay down there? I don't know. Oh, well, great. Great. Look down. They're there. And nowhere else. Oh, no. I think you have to go down and fight them. Ugh! Yeah! How do you like that, black guys? How about we just leave it here, then? What do you mean, leave it here? I thought you'd had enough for a while, and you were just doing three more minutes. Three minutes of smacking my bitch up. Ugh. Fine, we'll stop here. And maybe I'll be in a better mood. Maybe, I'll, maybe my brain will work better with this game. I don't know. It's because you've been playing Metal Gear so much, it's put you in a different mindset. Thank you for trying to justify my awful actions. I hit a girl. I hit a girl. I can't even live with myself. Okay, bye. Later, everybody. Bye.